going on with the Braves? Well, you know, I think lately, I mean, they're on an eight-game losing streak. This is a team that just really isn't all that good. I mean, they're two games over 500, outscored their opposition by only three runs. Since going 17-7 and seven to start the year, they're eight games under 500. It's just, you know, they've, they've got a, a, a lousy offense, a lot of sinkholes there. B.J. Upton, they replaced Dan Ugla, uh, but Chris Johnson and Andrelton Simmons, just a lot, of, a lot of gaps in that offense. And lately, one of the big problems has been their head bullpen management. On this eight-game losing streak, uh, a, ro a West Coast road swing, three of those losses were on, walk -off, were on walk off wins. And only in one of them did Craig Kimbrell, the best pitcher on the staff, get into the game, and that was in the 11th inning. Freddie Gonzalez has to be more aggressive in using his best pitcher. You can't lo keep losing games uh, with, you know, without that on the mound. I mean, that's the only game Kimbrell pitched in that entire eight-game stretch. you got to get him more work. Ben, obviously everyone's underachieving in a stretch like that. But is there one player that's been more disappointing than everyone else? Uh, not really. I think that a lot of the blame has to go to the general manager who constructed this team that's kind of looking a bit flawed. That's Frank Wren. You know, a lot of the big money he gave out just isn't really paying many dividends when you look at B.J. Upton, obviously, has continued to struggle. Dan Ugla is already gone. Uh, Justin Upton hasn't played up to his contract. I think a lot of the blame has to go to the top. Having said that, we're talking as if this is a lost season. It's not. They're four games back of the Nationals. They play the Nationals nine times from here to the end of the season. Yeah, they're struggling right now, but this is not a team that's dead and buried, Ted. Yeah, Ted, follow up on that. Is this a team that's destined to careen towards the bottom as the, uh, this stretch now, or can they turn this thing around? No, they can turn it around, and the reason I know that is because a month ago they were, had a nine-game winning streak, and so now they have an eight-game losing streak. So, you know, obviously they've been trending in the wrong direction since April, but that doesn't mean that they're a team that's incapable of putting together a nice win streak and getting back in this. And you mentioned they play the Nationals. They're 7-3 and three against the Nationals this year. So they've got that head-to-head -head advantage going for them, and they're still only four games out. And again, you know, as much as every team in baseball wants to win the division to avoid that one-game playoff, Given their postseason experience, I think just getting into the postseason, even as a wild card, and giving them that one game opportunity, which they used, uh, you know, they had a couple years ago when they lost to the Cardinals, at least they've got that shot once they get in. You know, that could salvage their season a little bit. So they're far from done. Uh, you know, a month from now, we might be talking about them totally differently the way we are now compared to early July. So uh, still too good to give up on it. Braves really good at getting to the postseason. Yeah. <laughs> Don't always do too much when they get there. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern only on SI.com. We'll see you there.